Hello again. Let's try what we've learned in the previous video on another speech verb, talk. You put talk in the search box in Kofi, and it highlights all occurrences of the word. Here, for example, the word talk is used in where it says, cheers and pep talks by the players and coaches. The word talk here is used as a noun, not a verb. We can include this in our list by copying it along with its collocates and pasting it in our list. Here, it says Graciela Chera is hesitant to talk about herself. The word talk is used as a verb here. So we copy that part and paste it into our list. We also see instances where talk is used as a verb along with to someone, so we can copy those to our list. One thing to keep in mind that words containing the word talk, such as stock, will also be highlighted by the word processor, so you need to pay extra attention and avoid such words. If you type a space before talk in the search box, you can avoid catching other words in your search. Now, let's try our next verb, speak. Here, we see that it is used as speak of in speak of the origins of art, so we can copy that. Another use of verb speak in Kofi is speaking a language, such as speak 11 languages here, or speak only English here, so we can copy those instances to our list. Finally, we see that it is also used as a phrasal verb here in the students feel free to speak up, so we can include that in our list, which now contains different patterns for the use of the word. Finally, let's try tell. We see that it is used as a transitive verb, as in tell her story. It can also be used in a ditransitive pattern, as in this example with both an indirect and direct object. Tell me, teacher, we could use this. You can also find other examples of tell in Kofi and include those in your list. Overall, a corpus like Kofi is a great resource for anyone studying or teaching American English. It provides opportunities for students and teachers to see how words function in authentic contexts and learn their grammatical patterns.